Hello guys, my name is Mohammed Salman and this video is on assignment of SkyFi Labs course. The course name is Foundation Analysis and Design. So what we are going to do is, in this video, we are going to show the results, we are going to analyze the map foundation and we are going to show the results if it is safe or not. So till now what we do, let me give a brief description. What we did is, we have defined the material properties, then in material properties we have defined the concrete which we are going to use and type of bar which we are going to use. For your information, we have Design. We have used M40 concrete and we have selected HYST 500 bars. The second thing, what we are, after that, what we are going to do is we are going to define the slab properties. Slab properties is nothing but we are going to define the thickness of the slab and the type of concrete which is associated in the slab. That, that we are going to. That is the thing we are going to define in this thing. The next thing, what we do is after defining all the slab properties, we, we go to the draw option and we draw here the slabs by selecting this draw slab option. This slab is drawn according to the calculations, which is shown in the SkyFi course. The next thing, what we do is we draw the strip lines. What are these strip lines? These strip lines are the lines which connect the columns in a straight line. So we draw, we draw this strip lines according to the SkyFi course calculation. Okay. After drawing of this strip lines, what we do is we place the columns. In our project, we have two types of columns: C1, which is 500 mm by 500 mm, and the second one is the column, which is 600 by 600 mm. These columns are placed according to the loads and the requirement. Where there is higher load, we are going to place a larger column. Okay. Now, after placement of the column, what we do is we define the soil property. In soil property, how we have to define is we have to go and select the design soil subject properties. After, select, after selection of this property, a pop-up will come. This it, uh, here I have already designed uh, here I have already selected this soil one and I have modified it and I have provided its values right here. Sorry, okay. okay. After defining the soil property, what we, are, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the load on each column. This data of the, the loads acting on the column, this data is directly imported from the ETABs and you have to tabulate it on Excel or any other Word document. And accordingly, we have to place the loads. Note here, each column will have different loads from column C1 to the column C16. Each column has a different dead load and different life load. So we have to assign it. We go right, we select this column and we go here right here, support data, sorry, load data, select point load and assign it. Okay, that is done. After that, we are going to run analysis, analysis and design. I have assigned the loads for each column. So right here, we are going to do analysis and design. We are going to select this run option. Now it is analyzing the structure. Now we have analyzed the structure. Now we are going to see the result. For seeing of this result, the safe software automatically it shows the result in terms of displacement. But what we require is we don't require displacement. We require show punching shear design. We require punching shear ratio. Right here, we can see different values. Um, foundation is safe when the punching shear design is less than one. But right here, we don't have less than one for many of the columns. So what we are going to do, we have, we have, we have to remodify it. So what we, have to what we have to remodify is, we have to remodify the thickness of the slab. So we are going to first unlock this model, then go to the defined slab properties right here. And in this match footing slab, you have to modify this option. Before, previously I have provided 500 mm thickness. Now, right now, I am providing 200 mm thickness. Select OK and OK. Now, again, go and run analysis. Run the analysis and design option. Now, it is analyzing. Now, we have to display the result in terms of punching shear ratio. Right now, we can see here is what we can see here is the ratio, each ratio is less than one. Not even a single ratio is greater than one. If it was, if it is to be, it was to be greater than one, then we have to again redesign it by using a greater depth of the slab. OK. Now, here we have checked all the columns. Yes, is there any? Yes. It's clear. So, this map foundation is safe for the design. Now, we have completed the analysis now we'll go and select the design option after selection of the design option what we do is what we get is we'll get the detailing charts and tables using this chart and tables what we do is we, have, we provide it on the site which will be quite helpful for placement and structure, placement of the device so this is how we do it guys so this is a small assignment because i'm not going to explain everything in detail and about the course i want to give a few uh, i want to give a feedback regarding the course this course is really really helpful for the students like me i'm a special civil engineering student so it have enhanced my skills as well as i've learned to use this safe software it is one of the important software for civil engineers and especially for structural engineers. I recommend this course to every single civil engineer. It is well structured and it is full of knowledge. And I would like to thank you, thank the Skyfi Labs for providing such courses at cheap prices. Thank you.